Thanks for joining me. And we'll see what kind of questions that we have today. I did pre-look at today's question, and I decided that I'm going to take two questions and combine them into one so we don't have to have too many. Joseph in Los Angeles uh, asks, as we age, are hearing changes due to biological and environmental influences? Yep. It stands to reason that what sounds best to an older listener may not suit a younger listener. Do audio gear designers and reviewers recognize and respond to this reality? Yes and no, but let me continue. George in Kendall, Cumbria, England. Being heavily reliant on your senses, both sight and sound, for development and enjoyment of your products, what would you do if you lost your hearing or your eyesight? That's a really good question. So let's see if we can't combine those two. First off, to Joseph in Los Angeles. Some of the best listeners I have ever been around had impaired hearing, and they've had it for many, many years. So when I, when I think of a listener and I say, this person's a really good listener, what do I mean by that? Well, a really good listener is somebody who is able to remember patterns and can recognize differences in sound that they have memorized and relate that to what they're hearing on a sound system. Let me explain that. One of the best listeners that I know are Bascom King, who designs our electronics, and Arnie Nudell of Infinity fame, who will be designing our loudspeakers. Now, both of these guys have amazing mental images, memories of instruments, okay? Arnie can tell you that bassoon does not sound like a bassoon. That timpani isn't right. And he can tell you exactly why. And, and he's comparing it to a lot of live music that he has listened to in his own space over time. And he memorizes those sounds, the sound of a violin, the sound of a trumpet, the sound of a guitar. He memorizes those sounds, and then when he plays them back on a loudspeaker that he's designing or a system, it's, it's just, nope, 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 ah, there. Now those two sound very similar, and we know where we're getting, okay? Now, Arnie actually has very good hearing. Bascom has the same mental abilities of pattern recognition and memory of musical instruments, but Bascom's hearing is, is way down in the high frequencies, yet the two of them can instantly spot the exact same problems or good stuff within music. How is that possible? Well, Bascom has developed, as we all do, workarounds. So if I have reduced hearing in one ear, fortunately I don't, but if I did, I still have to work in the normal world. So over time, my brain is going to compensate for that, okay? So my hearing will be pretty darn good unless I just have, you know, no hearing at all, but that's not what we're actually talking about. So our brains are very adaptable. We do it with eyesight. We do it with feel, with smell. We do it with sound. We are very adaptable. And as our hearing ages, and usually what happens is the, 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 the frequency extremes become truncated, kind of like our eyes. You know, you can't see quite as far and you can't see quite as close over time. You, you, you adjust. And someday you might even have to get glasses or hearing aids to help with it. But in the end, we all hear the same because we hear with our brains, not so much our ears, if that makes sense. And to George and his question, if I lost my hearing, what would happen to PS Audio? And I think about this a lot because, you know, we've got almost 40 people here that w rely on us for work, that feed their families from PS Audio. We have tens, twenties of thousands of customers around the world for 40 years that depend on us for their service, for good products, for new products, for pushing the state of the art, for maintaining the value system that PS Audio has built over all this time. And that is really 
That's really important to every single person here at PS Audio. And I don't want to say most of all me, but certainly it starts right here, okay? And PS Audio is a family-owned company, and we intend to stay that way. And our values as a family, as a group of 40 or so people that make this work, have to be maintained and, and, and supported. So I have worked really hard over the years to build a team that isn't dependent on me. I've got a great engineering team. Our, our engineering team is, is one of the best in the industry. And if I'm gone tomorrow, they're still building products and they are still sticking with the value equation. I've got some of the best listeners I've ever met work for us right here. Our sales guys. I mean, I, I don't want to turn this into a big, you know, pat us on the back fest, but just know that I am well aware that this is not a one man company and we never want it to be that. Uh, and we are pretty self sufficient so that if any one, two, three, four people leave the company, it still stays intact. We still have our values in place. We still build products that use our ears as the ultimate test gear. So I hope that answers your question. Thank you for asking, and I'll talk to you later.